Hello world, welcome back to Razer RC. Doing a different type of video today. And this is basically a wheel comparison between TLR wheels, Team Associated wheels, and raw speed wheels. So these are brand new wheels, 10 scale electric two wheel drive buggy front wheels. Unfortunately, the rear wheels don't fit properly on my Huddy Balancer, so could not do that today. But we're gonna do a little comparison between these three wheels. So I'm going to do a little visual inspection and then a weight test on my little ProTech scale here and then finally a balance test to see if we can see whether one wheel spins better than the other. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, something kind of different out there I haven't seen before on YouTube and let's see how it goes. Okay, so first up we got the TLR wheels. These are the new 2250 wheels made out of a Stifazel material. Simply yellow, uh, looks like 10 spokes, two holes for air to go in and out of the tire. TLR logo, uh, pretty smooth overall. Just smooth all the way around. Um, not much in the way of seams, a little bit of a mold blemish right there, but overall pretty smooth wheel. Uh, very, very stiff. There's pretty much almost no flex at all. So that's the wheel. I'm gonna do a little weight test with the scale in grams. So let's throw that on there. Looks like 13.6 grams. And then we're gonna do a little spin test to see if we can tell how well this thing actually spins. So mounting it up onto my hoodie balancing station. Zoom in a little bit, make sure it's perfectly tight, and then uh, let's do a little spin test. Fairly straight, a little bit of a wobble, maybe. Yeah, a little bit of wobble. So that's the TLR wheel. Okay, next up is the Team Associate B6.1 front wheel brand new of course looks like we've got eight spokes with a central ring again a very smooth wheel a little bit of seam action you can definitely feel the seams on these two holes for ventilation um, kind of a concave uh, design of the wheel not much else to note about the team specific wheel let's do a little weight test Twelve point seven grams. Twelve point seven grams. Okay. And once again, a little balancing uh, act here. Throw this up on the balancer. Make sure it's tight. Zoom in a bit here. And let's see how this thing rolls. So. Quite a bit of a wobble here. Definitely does not spin completely true. Make sure it's tight again. Um, yeah, so really not. Greatest looking wheel. I've got one other one here that came in the package. So let's double check that and see how that one goes, if it's any better. Maybe it's a quality control issue, or maybe it's a molding issue. Let's throw that down there again. Yep, still quite a bit of a wobble. Okay, that's the Team Associate wheel. Last wheel up is the raw speed wheel. Visual inspection, uh, very smooth on the front. But then it has a textured uh, feel uh, in the actual bead grooves themselves. Two holes for ventilation as normal. It looks like 10 spokes all the way around. 
And then these three little recessed dots, I assume to help your uh, wheel nuts get a little bit better grip on the face of the wheel. This is a TLR version of the raw speed wheel. So first up, again, let's do a weight test. Twelve point eight grams. So again, fairly light, like the associated wheel. Bit of flex, definitely not as stiff as the TLR wheel. Um, the TLR is a stiff as all material, which is what they've been using in their new wheels. They feel like they give them a little bit better stability, a little bit better precision. And then finally, let's do the spin test. Tight. Zoom in here. Very smooth, very true wheel. I mean, a, a tiny bit of wobble, but um, as you can see, it spins very clean. So, uh, lighter than the TLR wheel, spins a little more true, uh, but definitely not as stiff. Uh, I'd be curious to see if Rossman comes out with a stiff as material for this or they just keep it like that. Okay, so final thoughts. The TLR wheel is made out of stiff as material and it is quite stiff. Uh, definitely firmer, less flex than the other two wheels. Uh, stiff as I believe, has a little more glass content or something else in there to make it a little bit heavier, a little denser, and therefore less flex. Um, it, it is does obviously make it a little bit heavier than normal. The raw speed wheel is uh, definitely more flex, definitely quite a bit lighter than the TLR wheels, um, and also spins very, very true. The TLR wheel had a, a little bit of wobble, not too bad, but um, the raw speed, I think, did spin a little bit better. Tim Associate wheel is obviously a different style than these two. The offset is different, so it's hard to tell based off of the weight, um, but it is quite a light wheel, just like the raw speed wheel. It actually was the lightest of the three. Be interesting to see if raw speed's version of the team associated wheel is also equally light or lighter or heavier. It'd be hard to say, uh, just judging by these two, since these are TLR style wheels. Uh, but the wobble was really, really poor on this wheel, as you can tell. Even both wheels in the package wobbled quite a bit. Um, this probably also had the most seams on the wheel, so, um, Definitely seemed a little bit lower quality. I'm curious where these things are made. Um, made in Taiwan, so I guess the factory over there is not quite as good. So my overall opinions, uh, if you're running TLR and you want the stiff wheel, obviously TLR is the only uh, wheel that makes a stiff version as of today. If you're running Team Associated, I would not buy a Team Associated wheel. That's really, really interesting. Actually, I have quite a few Team Associated wheels. Uh, makes me sort of second guess whether I really want to run them. And then um, the raw speed obviously is the truest spinning. Uh, definitely a high quality wheel. I, I do see um, that they put a little more thought into this wheel um, with the extra grooves on the front to give it a little more bite. It's got kind of the rough texture to allow the glue to adhere a little bit better to the bead. And then just a very high quality wheel. Uh, spins really, really well. Um, these are made in China, kind of surprises me, but I guess they found the good factory in China. So anyways, that's my review, uh, my comparison of these three wheels. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, and look for more videos soon.